We are here with, what's your name? Israel. Israel. Israel, uh, we met like in yoga class and then we bumped into each other at Whole Foods. And uh, now we're like having a conversation and you're a life coach. Yes. That's exciting. Um, so uh, normally on YouTube, I ask people, what is one advice that you would give to your younger self? What would you say to your younger self? That is a, a great question. And mm -hmm. um, in introspection, so if I were to go back mm -hmm. to my younger self, I would probably go all the way back to... Uh, You're currently 36, right? Yeah. yeah. I'll go back all the way to... I like to go back all the way to like... Um, even primary school. Primary school, <laughs> yeah. elementary. Elementary. Like around 10 years old? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah. What um, would you say to, to young Israel? I would say to, um, you know, enjoy life. Enjoy life. Yes, and, you know, just uh, that everything will work out. That's true. Things will, everything will work out. Because right. um, I remember stressing out a lot about a lot of things. Yeah. Like about school, about my grades, about how people... Future. Yeah, future. Where am I going to be? Yeah. Et yeah. Whether, you know, I will succeed. Yeah. You know, just worrying about, uh, you know, um, meeting my parents' expectations of me, my family's, you know, my, just my siblings. I, I'm from a large family. Like really? A lot of uh, older siblings. Yeah. Like, like, I'm towards the youngest. And so... Uh -huh. There's all that How pressure. large? How many siblings do you have? Ten. Okay, okay, okay. That's pretty big, right? Ten. Uh, Seven sisters and, okay. and three brothers. Three brothers, so, so 11 total. Oh, okay. 11. That so is a, a good a size large. family, yeah. yeah. That's so, a, like a and, classroom, a small classroom. Yes. Yeah. And, wow. and soccer, a soccer team, pretty much. A soccer team, <laughs> yeah. Because yeah, usually um, to play soccer, you need 11 people, right? Yeah. yeah so mm -hmm. usually... I tell people, yeah, this is like pretty much a soccer, a full soccer team. Wow. Like, Can they all run good as like you? <laughs> <laughs> Probably not. You run marathon, good. so that's super yeah. impressive. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. What else that is good advice. Say? Yeah. Yeah. I was going to say, yeah, to just, um, you know, play more, just enjoy life. Enjoy life. And and life is very work short. Out, things will work out. Yeah, when you turn things. around, you're probably going to be 80 soon, you know? Yeah. Yeah, and that's what a lot of 80 people, the people who are older, they say, yeah. you know, just like a little while ago, I was 30, yeah. they said, yeah. Yeah, and I felt like I, I took things a bit too seriously uh, pretty, pretty early on. Sure, yeah. You know, it might have helped in so many ways, like yeah. staying focused Discipline, school, yeah. Yeah, discipline, but yeah. also on the other hand, uh, I feel like I uh, kind of missed out on my on enjoyment enjoying life and you know just uh playing a little bit sure. more like playing more soccer i played soccer you play soccer not as much yeah uh, you look like a soccer player <laughs> yeah not as much because i wanted to always you know just be studying and stuff so right um yeah okay and now so now that you have this uh advice that you give to your younger self and you're practicing that now yeah. You're yeah. practicing uh, enjoying life more? Absolutely. Yeah. It's part of the reason why I moved to San Diego. Oh, that's York. a good one. Yeah. yeah. That is true. And um, mm. that dream actually came to me um, as we were going through COVID in 2020. Mm. And um, I just felt like the lockdowns were pretty, uh, especially in New York, were pretty uh, extreme. Very strict, very yeah, strict, yeah. Strict and My extreme, family, they're so, still in New York. You know, yeah. though, you know, it was for a good cause, a good reason. We wanted to, you know, stay safe. But yeah. ultimately, it, you know, led me to want to be in a place where I could enjoy the outdoors more. Right. Enjoy the sunshine. Yeah. Nice know, weather year round. Just be able to, uh, all year round, not worry about, you know, winters and hot yeah. weathers. Hot yeah you know worry about what coat i'm gonna wear to right. go out or yeah. jacket but just you know be able to jump and go outdoors and go to the beach any day of the year any day yeah, yeah. and um any day here is pleasant yes it's yeah. pleasant look yeah. at the sun sunshine yeah. comfortable right. weather comfortable weather super and comfortable so, yeah yeah so that's what i'm maximizing on just uh, i love it just uh, to um you know i you know in my coaching also it's like all about um self-care self-care you know mm -hmm. being self-aware self you know self-caring allowing yourself to 
you know, give to yourself, you know, the, the things that you want to like, fulfill your own need. Because mm. um, we tend to want to help others and, you know, go out in the world and do things. Mm -hmm. But unless you are first um, giving to yourself, unless you're, you know, you are pretty much um, receiving, mm -hmm. it's going to be hard for you to give. Makes sense. So, yeah. in a sense, being in that receiving mode is being, um, you know, outgoing and allowing yourself to, you know, do pleasurable things, do fun, you know, do fun things for yourself. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah, that's awesome. Good advice. Enjoy life. Don't worry so much. Yes, exactly. And everything will turn out to be fine. Yeah, thanks. I'm with out. you. San Diego is a great place. Nice weather. Absolutely. Yeah. Thanks. All right.